Hey YouTube, it's Kyle, the Voron Modder. We're looking at my Ender 3 that's currently being deconstructed. This is the construction zone. Now, a few things to notate. Yes, there are cut wires. That's because this thing was a solder job and I mean, it really was hacked together just to build the switch wire. I didn't buy a harness kit. I just utilized wires that I had and I just wanted to get it done as quickly as possible. And in hindsight is probably where I went wrong. I should have taken more time assembling everything. A few problems with the frame we'll go over later, but just a little preview on it. The, it is sloped, the top bar from this point to this point, this point is actually higher by a millimeter than the other side. Thank you, Krillty, for not double checking your cuts. I, I don't know. For a basic Bowden setup, it was perfect. Even running the Cruelty Sprite was an amazing upgrade for what I had. But this was the ultimate dream. It was the ultimate mod for an Ender frame, converting it to a full-on Ender wire. And now we're stripping all this down and taking the parts off of here to turn it into a legitimate switch wire. This is the progress with the ender wire. Uh, I'm gonna make this episode two just because I don't wanna bore you with nonstop talking. We're gonna really focus more and dive into the actual build of the switch wire itself. However, I wanted you to take a look and see how bad my wiring is, yet it still works. Now, my 2.4 wiring shown on screen here is almost a masterpiece if you think about it. It really does look good compared to the switch wire. Now, Fizzytech has a really cool mod that he has kindly shared with me to install. It is a way to mount all your, com your com electrical components to a specific like breadboard type, if you will. It is octagon shaped. He's got these inserts for everything, the U2C for the CAN bus, the controller, as well as the power supply. Now, what I would like to see is that get printed and installed here, and I'm really excited to do that. I'm also looking to see if I have a different power supply connector. I swear to God, I have a different one because this guy is not going to fit for the switch wire. Here we are in my Inventables X carve table. It's a thousand millimeter by thousand millimeter. So we definitely have plenty of space to do what needs to be done. I have my high one linear rails here. They've been soaking um, for probably like six hours and started to rust a little bit. So I pulled them out and I'm going to put some rust treatment on the steel components of here. The stainless steel itself didn't rust, which is nice. And I'm grateful for that. There is still some remnants of grease that needs to get cleaned up. So that will be, uh, I'll continue that. I have my compressor feet that we're reusing from the underwire. I have the key back that we're reusing from the underwire with new components with heat certs already pressed in, looking good and ready to rock and ruin. I have the end stop here. Um, there are three parts that need to, three parts that need to get replaced. Uh, these guys are going to get my logo VM for Voron Modder. So these two will get replaced because the bridging didn't work out too well. And for some reason, I think my layer was too high or too low. But normally I don't have a problem with these types of prints. And this one just didn't take for some reason. So we'll redo him as well. I have the front and rear covers um, for the switch wire frame. I have measured everything I've printed to ensure that I fall within those dimensional parameters of making sure that things are going to fit properly, nice and snug without any kind of bending or bowing. I have the rear panel clips I did in black because I don't want you to see them. Um, the Y carriage upper, I even have the spool holder, the filament spool holder um, in the magenta or, you know, hot pink, I'm, I'm not sure. What color this is anymore it says magenta but it looks pink to me i have the voron um, face plate for the stealth burner and i'm probably gonna put fans in that i have some fans i could throw in there today but because we're running the big tree tech sb2209 it doesn't really make sense to do anything with this yet i could work on the leds and that might be something we do later I have the lightweight component, the latch from my skeletonized clockwork two. It is in the magenta as well as the backside of the hot end. We are gonna be reusing the Revo Voron and I'm very excited about that. 
We have the um, idler tensioner set here that is pretty impressive and working very well. Uh, it's amazing how good these things work when you get your, your printer dimensionally accurate. Um, very excited about how this works and how everything just clicks in. Um, it's, it's a good looking part and I'm excited to use it. We also have the side door flat latches and the hinges that work. Um, for not doing a lot of bridging, these things work incredibly well and I'm very proud of that. So next video, hopefully we have some cyan in the mix of the parts and Friday's gonna be the unboxing video. In fact, we might do one today because my custom panels from Mandela Roseworks are showing up and I wanna show you guys what's so special about it and I'll probably mount a couple things to the panel and we'll go from there.